Hey, welcome to another Maxim project. Yep, that's the Maxim there in the water behind us. Hey, here's what we're doing. We're working on screens. We're gonna make some side screens and a piece of screen for the front because we got one in the back. So here's how we're doing it because you can't mark on screen real easy. Here's my secret. All right, here's how we're patterning our screens that we're making for the side. Uh, note that everything is on the outside here. Uh, you can see how you're on the outside. So we'll be cutting on the inside of the tape. We'll be marking them uh, stout and pout for starboard out and port out and then center out. Uh, we're going to be measuring all of these fabric dimensions so that we can sew them on the screen. Then we'll come down to the boat and uh, fit the zippers. So, uh... Okay, after our measurements, we uh, laid this all out. We've got a steel plate here to cut on. Got our Sailrite hot knife. I'll show you how this works and I'll go cut the rest. And this, this comes apart real easy. You get a strip. The nice thing about this is the edges will not fray. So that's how the, the hot knife works. Got that from sale, right? I don't get any money from them, but uh, great tool. Hey, welcome back to the video for the canvas and the screens on the Maxim 2400 SCR project. Gonna iron my canvas. You can say, why do you iron your canvas? Because that's how I put good creases in it so I can sew. So let me show you what I do. So I lay it down like this and I'm going to put a half inch. I'm going to guess at the half inch. I don't actually measure it. All right, but I kind of put it like this, hold it out, put a little water on there, come in with the iron. And I just kind of keep doing this. And while I let the iron sit there, I roll a little bit more. Keep coming along. Thing you have to watch out for with modern irons these days is the darn things are uh, booby trapped, so you can't leave them on, so they shut off on their own, which is kind of crazy. So once in a while, you got to do this, or it shuts off on its own. So after I get this one nice and done, turn it around, start the other side. The nice thing here is this makes it so much easier to work with. Just want to evaporate the water and get a nice crease. Now what we're doing is we're making edge binding for our screen. Hey, welcome back. So we've got all of our pieces uh, folded and uh, ironed. You can see what that looks like in there. 
Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I've got basting tape. Basting tape is two-sided sticky tape. I'm going to put this on the edge so I can stick it on the screen. Uh, this is going to sleeve over the screen just like this. So we're going to sew it. So to put the basting tape on, I kind of open this up like this. Put this down one side like this. it down you can see it underneath there now and again you just pull it breaks easy uh, then what we're going to be able to do here is put this on here like this tuck the uh we're tucking the screen in all the way so if you take a look at this See how the, this, where we uh, hem this up, packing the screen all the way in, all the way along. I'm going to make sure that you're up all the way. Now we're going to take this and peel the edge. And when we hold that, we'll pull this out. Once this piece is out, We'll push this down all the way along. Now, eventually we'll sew out here when we put the screen and the zippers on. And we'll do that at the boat. What we're gonna do right now is just sew this. Then we'll do the other side, sew that. Then we're gonna sew the top. And we'll show you how we're gonna tuck those in on the end. So uh, let's watch us sew one, then we'll sew a bunch. We'll come back and show you how we finish it out. Now what we're gonna do is start this in the sewing machine like this up here off the screen. Pull both the bobbin and the sewing lines back. Drop the uh, foot. This is a Singer uh, 301. It's from 1955. Uh, we used to sew all our canvas. You'll notice I didn't do the back one. I just basted one side because it's in there tight. So what we'll do is we'll get this started by hand a little bit. Normally you reverse stitches, but because we're going to cut this off and put another piece over it, we don't need to seal this stitch. Bring this up, pull this out here by releasing your foot, pulling this out, and cutting off the excess. That's all there is to it. You can see we've got it sewn real nice now. Uh, we use black thread on our brown because that's the way the rest of the boat's done. So we based it on the top piece here, and that's why we put the words top on here. We can take that off now. But we leave it on too, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but we got this rough edge, okay? We put this centered, we let some hang off, we cut, cut this off so it's about a quarter inch. What we want to do is fold this under. So what we do is we roll this open and we fold this like this. We try to fold this straight, all right? I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, we try to fold this under like this and then like this. And then we tuck this into here. So basically, basically like this, that's what I've got. You can see what we've got, all right? Now we're going to put pinch this in the sewing machine here, go back forth, and then come down this way. We'll, go, we'll start here, we'll go up here, come down this way, all right? We'll go back and forth, we'll go back and forth here. So let's see how that goes. going to do is put this uh, in here like this and what we're
we're going to do is turn this in through by hand. All right. And see how that feeds along. Reverse our sewing machine. A little bit of a problem there. Sometimes if you try to be too aggressive, your needle wants to hang up. back the other way I think we get some stickiness in there what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew across the other side almost to the end and then uh, flip it around Okay, so we got our sewed screens now, and we're going to put the zippers the same as our zippers that are on our boat. So here's what we're going to use. This is basting tape. Uh, we're going to put that on our zipper, and then we're going to attach our zipper to here before we sew it by lining it up to the zipper down below. So what you want to do is put this zipper here to figure out what side you want the uh, basting tape on, which is this side. I'll put it right on the edge here. And lightly kind of push it down and uh, stick good. I'm going to line this up across here and across here. We know you can see how this zipper is right at the top edge. So we'll figure out where it's going to be. Uh, a couple ways you can do this. You can make a mark with a pencil or you can do it by eye. We can see that it's right there. So we're just going to take this and put it right there. Once we got it started, we just continue to work across here like this. Turn it over, make sure your zipper's even. If it's not, pull it loose, pull it out. From there, we're going to go to the sewing machine. You can watch earlier in this video how to sew stuff. Just make sure you lock your thread at both ends. Hey, welcome back, back aboard the Maxim. We finished our screen project right here. You can see we got real nice screens in. We're going to show you the outside too. See, we've got a screen in the front. We've got good ventilation through here, and we keep the bugs out. So keep your bugs out. You can see we also did that side. Let's go take a look at the outside. So there you can see what it looks like on the outside. All snapped down and everything, bug tight. Same thing in the front. You got the front one, and we got the far side. 
Well, that's it for putting screens on my Maxim. Hey, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Post notifications on. Don't miss another cool how-to video. Simple way to put screens. Did it for about $100. Catch you in the next video.